Well, hey, tubers, two bats, various crazy people. Uh, on the channel today is kind of a little special occasion. Uh, we did a video yesterday. When I say we, I mean myself and Baby May. Baby May had met a young lady that is co-owner with her partner of an asparagus farm here in Valencia. And the whole story in and of itself is very interesting. And we posted it yesterday on May's channel. And I just came along as the cameraman and to help May do some videography. And while she did her channel and did her, did her video. But in the interim, I met two very, very interesting sisters. And I thought that I would love to have them on the channel. And I just wish they would cheer up. <laughs> You just I'm sorry. <laughs> I can't stop laughing, but it's good to laugh. It's good to laugh. <laughs> Laughter is the best medicine. Medicine, yeah. correct. So um, I wanted to get some background on these two young ladies because they're very engaging personalities, very, very funny, and very, very smart also. And mm -hmm. so I want to get back. Uh, why don't you introduce yourself? Tell everybody who you're, what your name is. <laughs> Uh, hi, my name is Juliet. Juliet, yeah, okay. Yeah. And how old are you, Juliet? 25. 25, and you're the co-owner of the asparagus farm yes, with yes, your partner. Yes, And how long have you been the owner here well, with your partner? With uh, four years. Four, four years. years. yeah. And it's an interesting story. It's, it's on May's channel, but I want to review it real quick. Four, four years ago, you were living where? In Cebu. In Cebu. Yeah. And how did you come across this gentleman that's now your partner actually um we we met we met on a dating site uh -huh. yeah and then and then we're we but we don't chat it much but uh when we chat it's all about job it's right about work yeah but that time i was i was uh planning to quit my job back there and then he said that he's made also want to go home or want to quit his work here too so yeah then after maybe two to three months then i decided that, oh i i want to come over there then because the place it really interesting to me he take a picture of it and send it to me and then it kind of interesting fresh air uh -huh. you know yeah and you were living on a farm in cebu correct um or outside of cebu City, Cebu City, City yeah. Cebu but I City. originally okay. live in the province of Cebu. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And you lived with your parents, obviously. Yes. And you have how many siblings? I have nine siblings, so, ten included me. Yeah. So ten total. Okay. Yes, correct. And right now you're 25, and how old is the oldest sibling? 30. And how old is the youngest? 12. 12. Okay. So. And... When you when you um, went on this dating site, if I can reiterate a little bit, you did not get a romantic feeling from this man. No. Uh huh. No. So you guys were just talking like friends. Yes. And yes, decided, yes. well, you know, he's a nice guy, she's a mm -hmm. nice girl. You guys just stayed in touch. Yes. And um, when it came up, it turned out that he was um, going to let his his maid was leaving. Yes, correct. And. You got to talking about that, and you wanted to come out here and work mm -hmm. because you were whatever you were parting ways with whatever job you had back there. Yeah, yeah. And um, he agreed, and then you came out here. Yes, with my parents. With your parents, yeah, which because, I think is awesome. Yeah, because I don't have experience of traveling. Sure. Yeah, because I was since I was eleven. Then I'll just you know like work all the time. Uh -huh. Work. Then no, I don't uh, experience of the teenagers. Uh, yeah, yeah, like that, right. You sound like me. Um, when you were 11 years old, you quit going to school? Is that uh, what when, you were telling me? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, and what was Fifth the, why grade. did you quit going to school? Actually, because, you know, uh, my mom is uh, selling some food in Kwasan, but it's so far away, you have to walk, so, and... Most of the days, and then she will say that, quit. Uh, can you quit uh, a day to to sell this? When you, she says quit, that, quit school. Uh, quit absent. going to school. Absent, absent. Be Sorry. absent. Okay, yeah, that's yeah, fine. Absent, and then so I did. So it happens many times. So mm -hmm. after that, 
I'm just tired of absent, so I I just quit school. Per, uh, yeah, just quit, and then, yeah, and then we have our neighbor. You know, she told uh she told me that they have, she have a uh, boss friend that uh looking for a nanny or house housework. Uh -huh. Yeah, so you know, I I keep thinking about it. So why not? I'm gonna uh, grab it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Did it pay better than selling the fruit by the side of the, the road or whatever it was you were selling? Mm, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but back there, the salary before is not much, but it's better than nothing. It's better than nothing. <laughs> Correct. Yeah. And you were 11 years old. Mm hmm. And you made the decision on your own I, yeah. that you wanted to go work as a nanny. Yes. To help your family. Yes. It's amazing. So you quit the fifth grade. I, I did. <laughs> I'm so bad. Yeah. But look at how look at how smart you are. I mean, look at how good your English is, and and you have a very strong work ethic since you've been oh, working since you. you were eleven, right? Mm -hmm. And you like to work. Yeah, because we uh, we we grow. Our father is hardworking, and okay. then we always with them with him like go farming or cutting trees and or the coconut cutting uh -huh. coconut, and then we put it here and then carry it all the way down. You know, so we, we really go working. Now, did all the kids in the family that were old enough, did they all work on the farm? I don't know now. Mm -hmm. they still but back then, enough? back when you were 11, yeah. when you were 11, did, did the other siblings, did they help on oh, the yeah. farm too? Yeah. Did and they all go to school or did they have to go absent? Some, some, they absent too, but most of, most of my sisters, they stop uh, studying to for work. Ah, yeah, okay. like twelve. El not just me. Right. Not just me. Yeah. Okay, so, so you were not the only one that went off to be a nanny or a housekeeper yeah. or whatnot. So okay, but so that kind of made you qualified by the time you were twenty-one mm. when you met this gentleman here yeah, yeah. to say, "I have experience. I've been a nanny. Yeah. I've been a cook. I've yeah. been a maid." And your parents didn't have a formal job. No. They just lived off the land, if the, you will. Yeah. Right? Yeah. You guys ate the food that was grown. Um, you told me that you would cut certain kinds of wood Co and coconuts. To sell it. To sell it. Just to, to get a few hundred pesos food. here, a few hundred pesos yeah. there. To provide maybe some clothes, mm. uh, other basic needs. Yeah. But it was basic living out I in know, the province. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Okay. But... But we're happy. Yeah, but you're happy. Uh, yeah. Okay. What what is what happened if there was someone that got sick or if there was an emergency? Um, actually, like before, um, we used just a herbal, like Herbal. for calf, yeah, like organic uh -huh. plants, yeah. And are all your siblings and your parents still healthy? No hospital. Mm -hmm. Oh, we're healthy. No hospital. No. No. Yeah. Okay. My my mother, you know, she managed she managed to raise. get us well uh, raised up. Would you say your family is close? I mean, all of you are, are pretty close. Pretty close. Yeah. Was there ever any? You know, I don't mean. I mean, everybody argues and fights, no. but there wasn't any no. bad stuff that. Oh, uh, that's why we we have we have lots of respect to our mother because uh, she raised us real good uh -huh. yeah even if we grow poor uh -huh. but we i'm we're really glad that we got that uh, personality from her and my dad does she have a good sense of humor her. your mother is um, she funny i think my dad i get it from my dad you get your humor from your dad yeah good thing that i don't drunk I don't drink. I don't drink. Because every I'm time sorry. I see you, you're like really super happy. You know, you can't fake that. You know. I'm sorry. <laughs> you know? No, I mean you can. You can't pretend. Oh, you know, it's good to you're laugh always and happy. you're always happy and upbeat. Yeah, now, I appreciate. I appreciate everything. God bless yeah. you. Now, who's this lovely lady here to your right? She's my enemy. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Go on. What's your name? So hi guys, I am Melanie Kainkoy and I am 20 years old. Melanie? Yeah. And you're 20. And how long have you lived here on the farm? Two years. Two years. Now how did that happen? You were there with mom and dad. 
Is that no. correct? No. No, back then I was a working student since I was high school. Okay, so you stayed in school. Yeah. You did not work on the farm. No. No? How did you I, escape that? <laughs> yeah, because when I graduated elementary, my uh -huh. brother's um, boss, I my brother's, uh, the sister of my brother's boss, uh -huh. um, looking for um, a worker. Okay. Just clean the house, cooking like that, and then... Uh, he recommended me, so I got there as a working student until I graduated high school. And how old were you when you started working? Twelve years old. Twelve years yeah. old, but you stayed in school. Yeah. So they, he afforded you the opportunity to work and still go to school. Yeah. So he was a kind employer. Yeah, he... He was a retired principal, and he has really a good heart. Oh, that's We're awesome. We're so close, and then the moment that I left at their house, he he was crying, and then he hugged me because I'm the one who take, took care of him. Oh, my gosh. That is so sweet. <laughs> Where are you going? <laughs> I think she's going to... She's going to cry? <laughs> yeah. yeah, okay. I, that's I left fair. here. That's fair. It's For a while. Okay. <laughs> it's okay. Oh, yeah, it's okay. Are you back? Okay, she's yeah. back. Hi, right. guys. That's okay. So, how did you come to Valencia? Okay, so her partner messaged me that he gives me an opportunity to, uh, ins uh, to he wants me to send me to college, mm. okay. and then I will work here. Then, when I came here, here, it feels like it's a nice place, and it's it's the safest place, and it's. Really, how you have a lot of good opportunities here because mm -hmm. uh, it has fresh air, and then it you can find peace in here, as uh -huh. you can see in the surrounding. Okay, and yeah. he's a good man also. So your partner, um, who is how old? Sixty-eight. Sixty-eight. Okay, yeah. he's a very, very. Uh, I have not met him. I think I I think he knows who I am maybe. I, uh, yeah, he we've said, probably crossed paths at mm, one point in time. He said he saw you before, but never. We never. Stopped. Yeah, I've probably seen him, but yeah. just passing. You mm, know. Correct. Um, but I'd like to get to know him when he gets back. Um, he's a really industrious, smart, obviously intelligent guy, he and he's also a very too. kind and compassionate yeah. guy. Yeah. You know, foreigners get a bad rap sometimes mm. because of the age gap, right? Yes. Like, I'm 30 years older than May, okay? Mm -hmm. And he's 30-some-odd years older than older, you. Older, yeah. However, he did not drag you out here as his girlfriend. He brought you out here as his as, maid. As a maid, yeah. And then, over a period of time, I think a few months, the two of you sort of connected. Yeah, right? yeah. And it turned romantic once you guys became close to one another, and you liked his what? His compassion, yeah, his kindness. I, yeah, because he's yeah, and I, I like him because he treats his his worker as his family, and wow. he, that's how he treat me too. And then, and he's I like funny guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's he he's uh what is that way? Oh, he's he's good with like uh. Taking care of himself, like he's working out, and I like it, and I like to train too. So, kind of like we are, you know, connecting. Sure. Yeah, and he he trained me, so he's my coach. Hi, Ricky. <laughs> yeah. So I I am so blessed. I'm so blessed that I came here. I'm so more and more happier. Huh? But I I never I'm never changed because of that. That I have a foreigner. I'm still you know I the know same. That. I know so, that. Yeah. I know that May and I have both Never noticed changed. a lot of women get involved where now all of a sudden they're, um, they have the ability to a little bit of money or a yeah. little higher status in life, yeah. and they change. I mean, mm -hmm. all of a sudden they, they have fancy clothes and fancy yeah. handbags and lots of makeup, yeah. and they're showing off their jewelry and all this and that and the other. But May's not like that. No, she I, likes yeah. to remain that's simple. Why, that's why I like her. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and that's just something that is a compliment to her because she's never forgotten where she came from, and neither of you. And I think that's why you guys connect. Connect, yeah. yeah. So I want to hear a little bit more about your sister. She came out here two years ago, and he offered to put her through school. Mm. And what grade school are you in right now? 
third year college. Third year college. And what are you? What are your plans? Uh, what 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 uh, is your major? So my major is mathematics, and I'm taking the course of bachelor of secondary education. So are you good at math? Yeah. That's unusual. I mean, not, not so. No, not so. But yeah. But you have to work hard. Yeah, okay. math is hard. It's not a joke. Right. I really work hard. Yeah. And and you get good grades. I, I'm not average, but. Just not good, not very good. Okay, that's just my grade is fine. <laughs> but it's passing. Yeah. Okay, and so you want to be a teacher? Yeah, I do. Okay, and how long until you qualify to be a teacher? Um, yeah. four years. Four years total. Because after graduation, you will take a licensure examination for teachers. Okay. After that, you will get a license to uh, teach. Okay, so you're 20 years old now. Yeah. And by the time you get all of that and you're ready to go to work, how old will you be? I think 20, that's 24. 24 years yeah. old? Yeah. So you'll be here till you're 24. Yeah. I, wow. But I love here. Yeah. I love to be here. And then when you're done, um, what's going to happen? Are you going to leave or and and go off on your own? Or how's it, what's going to happen there? Um. I don't know right now, but my boss... It's four um, years away. It's hard to tell. Yeah. My, <laughs> my boss told me that I'm the one who will take care of the... What is this called? Bread and breakfast. Bread and breakfast. The Airbnb yeah. that's yeah. across the street. Yeah, he's yeah. also got an Airbnb, sister, which yeah. is totally cool. Yeah. Maybe that's what... Yeah. Okay, so you might be like the manager of that. Yeah, yeah I'll be a worker. Yeah. Or a worker. Okay. Yeah, worker, yeah. So when someone comes and stays there... You yeah, would go in and clean, clean up, the sheets get and, yeah. and get it ready. And yeah. and then teaching, do you want to teach here in Valencia? Or do you want to go back to Cebu? Or I would love to teach here in Valencia. If there's an opportunity here, then I would love An opportunity mm, here. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Now, do you have any other siblings that would like to come here? Yeah. Yeah. The next? Yeah. You're next? Yeah. What does that mean, you're next? Oh. Uh, after her? Yeah, yeah. After, after her. After but they got to wait then. four years, right? Actually, like, um, if she can travel, if she can travel now, my partner wants wants her to be here oh, okay. so that she can you know, to finish her study. Okay. But it's just too hard for now to... To travel yeah. with travel. COVID and all yeah. that jazz. Okay, yeah, so how old is she? Uh, 15 or 15. 16, yeah. Now, how do your parents feel about all this? Are they happy for the two of you? Um, are they happy? I don't know. I maybe, yeah. maybe yes, maybe no. I don't really know because I think they, they think that we are uh, old enough to take care of ourselves. Uh-huh. Yeah. Mm. Do they need you still on the farm? It, oh, no. We're in the Cebu. Uh-huh. Uh, no. No? No. Do they still live on the farm or has that changed? Actually, they, we have, uh, because... My my eldest sister is working abroad, so you know uh, we have a new house. Uh huh. Yeah, and then actually they they live uh, not the same as before. Like you cannot you you just eat twice or you don't eat enough food. But now they can eat enough because yeah. they were good parents yeah. and they raised good kids to the best of their ability mm -hmm. now some of the kids are sending money to the parents correct yeah and allowing them to have a little easier lifestyle yeah, easier, yeah. as they get older because we don't like we don't want them to to like our other siblings we don't want them to feel or to experience of what we experienced before like w working early you know or uh don't have much food to eat before sometimes we just eat twice in mm -hmm. a day banana but that was really fine we're full and mm -hmm. then we're happy and it was food that you had yeah there. In the, yeah you in didn't the go farm. out to buy you didn't, no when was the first time you guys went to Jollibee oh uh, when I was working in Cebu yeah yeah when I'm working in Cebu yeah and what was that like with my boy oh I feel like it's a chicken Jollibee <laughs> what it's was real. it? Was it exciting? Oh what, yeah! Huh? I want more, more, more. Well, yeah. Was it? Was it like a big treat? Was it a big mm, deal yeah. to go I to Jollibee? Like, I feel like um, 
I never eat chicken before. That's that's really? a real one. Yeah. 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 We just eat chicken before when we have a birthday. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Only that one. And how about you? When did you first go to Jollibee? When I Bay? started working. Yeah. Maybe that was first year high school. Back my in Cebu. Boss, yeah. Uh -huh. My boss treating. It was that a big treat? No, that's that was my birthday actually. Oh, so that was where you went for yeah, your birthday. Yeah, yeah. He bought me. Were you happy? Of course, it's my first time. <laughs> Very Tasty, happy. Yeah. So. You know, you guys are totally awesome, and I know Thank you're going to you. do great in school. Thank I know you. you're going to do great as a partner, Farm, to, to, partner. Your, to, your, to your man here. Yeah. And you set a, a phenomenal example, Thank really, you, for young lady, both of you. Thank you set a great you. example. We appreciate that. I really wish that this video could be played in junior highs and high schools mm. and grade schools in America, where there is so much privilege that everybody is just born into. Where you two were born into no privilege whatsoever. Mm -hmm. However, not only did you work your way up and out by dedication and hard work, and you kept a great attitude throughout the whole thing. Yeah. You kept close to your parents, you kept close to each other, and I think you guys are the example that the world needs to see right oh, now. Thank you. I think the world's a very complicated place, yeah. and especially where I come from, which is America. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people are getting all worked up and excited over this and that and the other when it boils down to life choices, like what am I going to put into my stomach tomorrow? Correct. Uh, yeah. That whole goes out the window, and people have to focus on the immediate. So I think this is an example where less is more. Mm. I think when you're born with less, yeah. at the end of the day, you end up having more. Yeah. You have more love, more you have love. more appreciation, yeah. and you have... So true. More, more blessing, you know. Never, yeah. So It is really good. We're going to wrap it up. Is there anything that you two would like to tell my audience? That, not necessarily about yourself, but maybe just a, a message or something new about yourself whatever you want to talk about um okay let me think about it okay i think you can edit that right yeah okay yeah. take your time and what is that well if if you had to say one thing to everybody watching uh, and you wanted to give them some advice uh, about life and being uh, happy okay. what would you tell them um Mine is like uh, always, always be humble and always be appreciate, appreciate what you have right now. Like uh, even like before you don't have enough food, but now you get, uh, you can eat and you can eat enough food and then don't expect big. Yeah. Always be grateful of what you have. Perfect. Yeah. Don't, don't. Don't um, think that you are, you are, what is that? Okay, I think I'm done. Okay, That's and what fun. about you? you? Do you have something to say? So for me, all I can say is that right now we have to take good care of our health and then um, don't waste, uh, don't waste, what do you call this? <laughs> it's okay. Uh, so no. And be a good citizen. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have anything to say. It's okay. Oh, that's, uh, that's all right. I think that always keep your feet on the, on the ground. ground. Always keep yeah. your feet yeah. on the ground. Yeah, and you know, all trust the process. Trust the process. Tr yeah. Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> and treat people like you wanted to be, be treated, treated, and keep your words. How did you guys get so wise? I I, uh, I have to keep this going cause I'm because I'm in Where did just wisdom come my, from? My my partner. Nobody thought about that since uh, I come here. I learned a lot in here. That's why I really this place is really amazing. It's full of love and it's really something inside in you that that it completed. 
Oh. Yeah, and then so much like you, there's so much to be thankful for right now that you're still alive mm -hmm. and then some people are in the hospital right now right. but you're still here you know breathing thanks right. to god about that yeah we're right. healthy yeah well ladies i want to thank you for coming here uh this video to me is very special oh and thank you it thank brought, made me a little emotional here listening to yeah. you <laughs> and just seeing young women like yourself with smiles on your faces and so much appreciation um it, it ends up giving me hope for the future. Yeah. Okay? Never give up. Never give Never up give on up. your life. Yeah. I want to say goodbye keep, to my keep, uh, bye, bye, bye everyone. Be safe. And what else were you going to say? Uh, I think I'm done. Be safe. Be safe. I always laugh. Always <laughs> laugh. And yeah. Life is good. Life is good. All right. Well, yeah. we'll end on be that. happy. Life is good. Yeah. Be happy. Bye-bye. Uh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs>